Hi, I'm Lydia and this is Julie and today we'll be interviewing Alexis McKenzie about the 40 hour famine. What is the 40 hour famine? Um, for 40 hours you do random challenges and you raise money. The money goes um, to World Vision which is an organisation that gives resources to um, people in need and you do challenges like no running water, no electricity and yeah, things like that. What was your challenge? Um, for the 40 hour challenge we did only eating a bag of rice and yeah. Um, and we had some eggs as well and um, we had some barley sugars. What was your favourite part of the challenge? The end. Um, I liked being with my friends. What was your least favourite part about the challenge? Um, probably just eating rice, yeah. The start. How much money did you raise? Um, $320. Yeah, $320. <laughs> Who did you do it with? Um, Kenzie and Beth. Um, yeah, Alexis and Beth. Thank you for letting us interview you. Welcome back to Royal Blues News. Today we are interviewing Catherine Wilson and Francie Fliss Price. Thank you for letting us interview today. Could you tell us a bit about what the SPCA is and what you do? So the SPCA stands for the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Um, we are the only um, approved organisation in New Zealand under the Animal Welfare Act. So we have um, animal welfare inspectors that are out and about on the street um, and they take welfare concerns from the public and investigate them. And in the centre we are dealing with sick and injured unowned animals that need our assistance. What is your role at the SPCA? I'm the animal attendant so I get to look after the animals and my main role is with the dogs so I get the um, feeding and looking after them and helping to rehome them. <laughs> so I'm the centre manager here so my job is to obviously look after the, the people and, and look at make sure that they're doing what they should be with the animals um, but also make sure that all the animals are finding their new homes in a timely manner. Why did you decide to work at the SPCA? Um, I started my time as a, a vet nurse and um, from there I just found I had a real interest in animal welfare and moved into the SPCA space and have not looked back. I've been here nearly 10 years and, and love it. Um, so I was a, a volunteer and then um, a fosterer as well and then a role came up here and I eagerly took on this role. For seven years. <laughs> what type of jobs are there at the SPCA? So there's a few jobs that you can get within the SPCA, um, starting with animal attendants and our animal welfare inspectors. We also have support staff and managers, but our most important jobs, which we couldn't do without, is our volunteers and our fosterers. Which are your favourite animals here? I don't think I can answer that. <laughs> they all are. I mean, we have everything. Um, we are quite well known for cats and dogs, but we also currently in our care have horses, turtles and chickens. Um, over time we've had goats, we've had lambs, lambs we've had chinchillas, we've had it all. So um, anything, any, any animal that needs our assistance, we're here for. We don't have favourites. I like the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what are good names to name pets? Ooh, I can tell you names not to name. <laughs> we have a, a quite a few that come through, but it's really generally just what you want to name them is, is a good enough, I reckon. We've had a lot. Professor Perrington? Professor Perrington and Mad Madame Fluffy Pants. And, um, <laughs> we, we do love a good punny name, but obviously that's what fits your family. So they, they leave here with a name, but when they get to their new family, it's, it's up to them to name them. Do you play with the cats? 
It's our favourite part of the job, but unfortunately we don't have a lot of time for that. Um, we do have enrichment volunteers that come in and, and do a lot of that for us, um, but a big part of the day is you know, the morning cuddles and, and the evening ones as well. But we have a lot of boring stuff of paperwork and stuff to do in between. <laughs> um, we leave a lot of the cuddles and the playtime to our volunteers and fosterers that enjoy that space. Do you have any pets or have fostered any? <laughs> well, yes, I have two cats that came from here, two dogs that came from here. <laughs> and yes, I do foster, which is why I have two cats and two dogs from here. <laughs> Um, I think most SPCA people will end up with um, animals at home. Um, fostering is a really rewarding part of it. Uh, we have had the odd foster fail where they end up staying in forever. So I currently have three dogs, two cats, two rabbits and two chickens. So all from here. <laughs> <laughs> what is the funniest thing that has happened during your time here? Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of time, lot. But I remember during COVID, um, we had a big Neapolitan Mastiff here, and she was on cage rest, so we put her out in the cat rooms outside. And I walked past later on, and she had her head through the cat door inside. So there was like a big head and a little thing. <laughs> it looked really cute, but um, yeah, there's too many to to really answer to. What are some of the things our viewers can do to help the SPCA? Um, the many ways that you can help, obviously fostering and volunteering. Um, so fostering is the temporary care of the animals in your home during the time while they wait for adoption. Um, volunteering your time with us, um, simple things like cutting rags is a huge um, help, or f um, creating some kind of fundraising initiative, which I know that St George's have done a few times for us, so really appreciate it. Um, but also talking to others and letting them know about animal welfare and, and making sure that they're aware of how to care for their animals. Thank you for letting us interview you. Welcome to All Blues News. Today we have a new segment which is called Interesting Holidays. And today we are interviewing Ethan Lamp about his trip to England. Can you tell us about your trip to England? Yeah, so we went, me and my family went to England near the end of June and we went for about a month and to see our family. And so we went to, we stayed in London and we also went to Spain and to Blackpool. How was the flight? It was good, it was pretty long. We went, we drove to Palmy and then flew for an hour to Auckland and then it was 12 hours to China. We stayed there for a couple of hours and then 14 hours to London. How long did you go for? We went to England, we stayed in England for about one month. Where did you go? We went to see our family and we've not been to England for a couple of years so we thought it would be nice to visit. What were some of the highlights? Spain was really fun. It was pretty hot though, like 37, 39 degrees. And we stayed in this big house with three floors with like 12, there was like 12 of us there, of a big family. And then we also went to Blackpool to see the Blackpool Tower, which is in, which is in, Engl which is in England. What are you, where are you in this photo? We're in the London Eye, which is like a, a big ring, and you go around in these uh, little carts, and you can see like the view of London. What is that building behind you? So we're in front of the Houses of Parliament and also Big Ben. What is what is that building? What is that store behind you? So the store behind us is IKEA, which is like an Irish, I think, Irish store. And they have a couple of them in England and London. Thank you for letting me interview. The competition of the year. Do you think your pet is the cutest? If so, enter our STG and SPCA contest by sending us a pic of your animal friends.
If you get a placing, there'll be some awesome prizes. All the information will be on posters around school. If you have any questions, come find me, Christy, or Brooke. My, by the way, my email will be on the posters. Hi, I'm Julie, and this is Iris, and we're making a bottle cap mural. If you have any bottle caps at home, any size or any colour, can you please bring them to 8CS where we have a box ready? Hi, I'm Julie and this is Lydia and we have the contestants for the Just Dance competition. For the seniors, it is Margot, Harper Lily, Imogen, Lily Hayward, Sophie Anderson, Katie, Zach and Ethan Lamp. For the teachers, we have Mr Smith, Mr Millwood, Mrs Spence, Mrs Symes, Mrs Conshaw, Mrs Fahey and Mr Hayward has nominated Mr Mack. For the juniors, it's Kathy, Elijah, Oscar, Indy, Hannah, Ruby, Abigail and Molly. We look forward to seeing you dance.